What's up, YouTube? It's Kesmir, and I got a little bit of a life update for you. I was recently in a car accident. It wasn't very pretty. Uh, there's not a whole lot I can really go into on details because I, I still have a, a doctor's appointment coming up. Um, and I, I've also got a meeting with a lawyer. Um, I just want to let you guys all know I'm okay. Um, I just thought it was kind of cool to maybe take a few pictures in a very short video, kind of in the moment, you know, my adrenaline was running really high, things like that. Um, but first thing I thought of was you guys on YouTube and what you guys might want to see. I don't know. I thought it might be interesting and it's something I was going through and it's my first major accident I've ever had in my life. I thought I'd include you guys. So I got a few little photos here. Let me pull one up here. This is the intersection of the craft. Yeah, it doesn't look too good for our work vehicle. Um, I'm self-employed. I, I haven't shared a lot about my personal life, but I'm still very new to YouTube. But yeah, basically what I do for a living is I, I buy foreclosed houses, I fix them up, and I rent them out. So private real estate investor. Um, so this is our work vehicle. We were driving home at the end of a day and we had a green light and a guy decided to turn left and cross the street right in front of us. We were probably hauling about 50 miles an hour. We couldn't stop fast enough and he didn't stop. And we got ourselves into quite the fender bender. See, I can show his car. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be bl blurring out all the signs, so forgive all the blurs, but here's his truck. We hit a truck, he got away a lot better than we did. We just knocked out a light and bent his fender in. It wasn't a fun experience and, and you know, like I said, I've, I'm seeking legal counsel so I can't really go into too much detail. Uh, just know that, you know, for the most part I'm okay. You know, again, you know, just for the sake of, you know, YouTube and everything regarding our videos here and our gameplay and stuff like that. Yeah, uh, this this vehicle it was definitely totaled. I think they gave us an estimate of almost 12 grand to replace it. I think we only spent like four or five grand on it. We, we buy these types of vehicles, these vans, and just run them into the ground. So there's no, no reason to. Matter of fact, we've already got a new work vehicle, and I think we spent almost eight on that. But you know, insurance is we you know insurance is covering replacement costs for this vehicle because the driver who hit us, he has liability, so we're definitely covered in that regard. Um, I also took a quick video here. I'll show that to you guys. So there's the damages. Um, yeah, it was a fun experience. I mean, not, definitely not in the moment, but looking back on it, oh, and I, I swear, I remember when we we're trying to sail through that 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 intersection. I remember when I saw his red truck pulling in front of us, and I looked up to that light because I wasn't driving. I looked up the light, and I swear, man, that was the greenest light I've ever seen. It was just crazy, and I, I kind of got like this weird anxiety thing going on now. Like every intersection I go through, it doesn't matter if I have a green light or not. I'm like checking every corner and just making sure nobody's like rolling and their tires aren't moving and stuff like that. So I guess there's a bit of like I don't know car crash PTSD going on there. I mean, it's not like super affecting me too much, but it's still definitely affecting like my driving habits. I'm definitely a lot more cautious and I wasn't even the one driving this vehicle. So it's kind of weird, but yeah, it was definitely an experience. I just, I, I couldn't even call the police at the time. I was just shaking it. Like the impact was so hard. I like threw off my glasses. I couldn't even see because without my glasses, I'm basically blind as a bat. I couldn't even find them at first. I think they're under the, the passenger seat. Um, so yeah, they like hit the dashboard and flew underneath the passenger seat. Yeah, we were going pretty fast. And airbags didn't even go off. The insurance lady there at, at, the, uh, at the shop here, she was surprised our airbags didn't go off. So that's kind of scary too. Always wear your seatbelt because without airbags, man, our heads probably would have hit the dash and the windshield, man. That would have... Ugh. Cause yeah, we were going fast. It was it was a it was like a freeway intersection. I think the speed limit was 60 miles an hour. We had to have been probably going 55, and then when we saw him, we started decelerating, and tires were squealing, stuff like that. We probably hit him going 35 or 40. So there's no reason why the airbags didn't go off. So something was faulty there. But yeah, I'm all right. Look forward to my next video. Just wanted to share this little update. Also, let me know, would you guys want more? Like, this would be like vlogging or blogging or whatever, vlogging, I guess. Do you guys want more vlog content? Maybe I could get the wife on camera or something. We could go out and do stuff and you, you could, I could take you guys with for the ride or something, I don't know. I just captured this with my, my smartphone. 
So obviously it's not very good quality, but like I said, it, we had to, we had I had to go get my work van and bring it here because it's basically it's a mobile garage. I had to go get my work van, bring it here, and then we emptied this van into my van, and then my coworker took my van back to his place because he usually has the main work van, which was this, and I was without a van for a while, stuff like that. But yeah, that's just a little bit of what's going on with me and kind of what I've been going through, you know, but those videos will keep coming. I, I know we got The Walking Dead we're still playing through, stuff like that. Um, so yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next car accident. Knock on wood.